Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Ray. Got a video today from Madness for Allies Daily. Every man needs to watch this video. How much proof do you need? Please like and subscribe them below. Really appreciate that. Get that child. It's child time. Motivated to call in why? Yes. After the guy was saying how important it is to be nice and not nasty to your mm -hmm. baby daddy or whatever, your ex husband. Mm -hmm. I have never had any kids, so it's not coming from a spiteful place or anything like that. But I just feel like that's a crazy misogynistic mindset. And I just wanted to say that I think. Anything that upsets women that men do is misogynistic. <laughs> How much proof do you need? If you need proof that you should always protect yourself from female nature and the rigged court system, then this video sums it all up perfectly. Let me bring you up to speed. Tyrese Gibson, a well-known actor, recently went to jail for not paying child support. And there is a live stream of a female attorney breaking down the case in a ridiculous way. But here's where it gets interesting. After the breakdown, she opens up the stream for callers and a man calls in. What happens next will show you exactly why men are constantly set up for failure in this system. I want you to listen carefully and take notes because the reactions he gets from the women tell you everything you need to know. We're gonna let him talk for two minutes. Let's roll the clip. We got Shelby. Shelby, you ready? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Shelby. Oh, yes, you're a gentleman. You sound like a man. Yes, yes, I am. I'm yes. from New York. I'm from okay, New York City, and I just stumbled on your your uh, your podcast. So much respect to you. Much respect. It's not easy, but I, I must dig, disagree with the, with you, ladies, on this. Um, Let's hear it. I'm a man, and I just went through the child support system, and it is not pleasant, right? Mm -hmm. And I have fifty fifty custody of my of my daughter, right? Okay. And my daughter's mother still put me on child support, right? Mm, okay. And I try to tell women, you know, when you're nasty to your baby father or your ex-husband, mm -hmm. whatever that judge awards you, that number is going to be it. So yes. if you award, that's it. That's it. Right. But people don't realize that life does happen. You may need more money in February or more money in June, whatever, because life does happen. If you're nasty to this man, right? Yeah. And we're out in child support court. When you need something from that man, which will happen, he's going to remember how you treated him in child support court. And a okay. wise woman always told me, you can get a lot more from a man if you're nice to him, if you're reasonable to him. Right? Okay. My daughter's mother is always in financial binds, right? Mm -hmm. I help out my child. I don't help her out. Okay. Just because how she treated me in child support court, right? And I'm now, a man. I I'm, I, Shelby, I'm yeah, really, are you guys earning the same amount of money or do no. you make substantially more than she? I make double what she makes. Okay. Right? Even though okay. I have 50, 50 custody physical custody, which I'm blessed to have, I still give her a few dollars a month. So my child support is, I'm not going to lie, is very low. It's like 5% of my overall income. So I'm blessed. Okay. So I can't complain. The moment this guy starts talking, they pounce on him. Just look at the chat. Kevin Samuels rhetoric coming. Dusty, tomato. They had zero interest in hearing what he had to say. Yep. And why? Because he is a man and he was right. Now, before we break down their response, let's take a look at the key points this man made. 50-50 custody and still paying child support. This is the most rigged system imaginable. Men are out here paying child support for kids that aren't even biologically theirs. And even when they are, like in his case, he's forced to pay despite having- That's the craziness. How do you have the kids 50% of the time and you still owe the other spouse money? I don't get it. The system literally is just made to take money away from whoever has the most, which are men. 
equal custody. You can't make this stuff up. The baby mama, oh, she'll take that money without a second thought. Nope. She probably wanted even more. And that's why she acted nasty in court. Lawyers encourage this behavior, they telling do. women to lie, make up wild stories, all to make sure the father loses. The system is stacked against men. It's exactly why Tyrese's ex-wife left him before that kid could even talk, making sure the mother secures full custody. Point two, child support is never set. Judges change the amount whenever they feel like it. Men think they've settled the issue, but the courts will come back and demand more, especially if they think you're earning more. Three, the catch more flies with honey truth. He said it best. Women could get more from men by simply being cooperative. But these women aren't interested in child. I mean, how many parents do you actually see co-parent properly? From what I can tell, even from my own anecdotal evidence, women really use kids against the fathers. Almost every case I've ever seen, ever. They'll use it in some way, shape, or form. It's never, oh, what's best for the kids? Oh, I need some money. Can you get me some shoes here and there? Oh, okay, good. I'll get you some shoes. Hey, uh, you know what? Honey, or not honey, but hey, ex-wife, you know, I'm, I'm busy. I might, might not be able to take the kids today. Can you take it? Yeah, yeah, let me take care of them. I, I've never heard that. It always, oh, you can't take the kids? Well, you don't want to see the kids then. Then take them away. I'll support unless they're admitting they are children in adult bodies. <laughs> the money isn't going to the kids, it's going to mommy. They know it and they'll weaponize the court system to squeeze men dry. Now let's listen to the woman's response. The last comment we'll have for today comes from Glam Girl. How you doing? Hey, Simone. Can you hear me? Um, is I can hear you okay? well. Okay, I can perfect. Hear you. Perfect. This is my first time ever calling in. So Thank love the you. show. Thank I, uh, I was just motivated to call in after he you were motivated to call in. Why? Yes. After the guy was saying how important it is to be nice and not nasty to your mm -hmm. baby daddy or whatever, your ex-husband, mm -hmm. I have never had any kids. So it's not coming from a spiteful place or anything like that, but I just feel like that's a crazy misogynistic mindset. And I just wanted to say that I think for the women that. To be nice to men is crazy misogynistic. Are listening, it's really important not to get sucked into that mindset and do what is what you know look for what is legally um appropriate for your ex-husband or the father of your kids mm. to be paying so these people are just telling everybody fuck over your husbands as much as possible to get everything you can because <laughs> i know a lot of people who have gotten sucked into that where a lot of times they're not even asking for child support because they're looking for the father of their kids to be involved in the children's lives and they feel like yeah. yeah they feel like well if i look for child support the the that the dad isn't gonna be there and you know That's it will crazy. end up being detrimental to the kids yeah and uh, what happens a lot of times is the fathers who want to be a part of their children's lives will always be a part of their children's lives That's true. so the, That's true. the no this is how stupid these women are that they do not understand the court system at all. There is plenty of fathers that want to be in their children's lives and the court system tied their hands together and threw them in the ocean. So they can never really see their kids without paying substantial fortune to even get the 50-50 sometimes. So no, stop with this BS rhetoric of if they could, they would. Once, yeah, the ones who once you didn't are, want to do it will find an excuse. Exactly. They will always find an excuse. And a lot of mm -hmm. times you still don't put them on child support and you think that they're going to now be involved. There's How many women do you think don't take child support? Almost every single mother I know 
gets some child support in some way. They're not even weekend dads. They are, you know, sporadically here and there. The mm -hmm. same way the guy was even saying, I. So he's still pushing the same rhetoric that men are just absentee fathers. We're horrible men. We never show up for our kids. Throw her a few bucks or whatever he said. I give her a few <laughs> dollars. Like, <laughs> is that worth it to get a few dollars here and there? Mm -hmm. Then for you to really go to court and get what is rightfully your child so that their life is set up for them to, you know, really prosper mm -hmm. and have that solid foundation. So that's all I called in to say. I'm hoping that nobody fell for that. Did you see that abusive men love to weaponize their children? This is what their rhetoric is just projection. It's literally projection of what they do. <laughs> their logic is just unbelievable. This is what an agent of chaos sounds like. Let me know in the comments what exactly is misogynistic about a man saying it's better for mothers to be civil and cooperative with fathers. Calling him a misogynist is pure projection. These women don't want to be held accountable for anything. They want to disrespect you, take your money, and walk away without facing any consequences. No fault divorce, irreconcilable differences, false accusations, child support for kids that aren't even yours. It's all designed to benefit them. And if you're still down on this, just look at the chat. Everyone in that live stream agrees with the women. Why? Because in their eyes, the man's higher income automatically makes him the villain. The narrative is simple. If you're a man with resources, you're expected to provide no matter what. And these women will use their children as leverage to get what they want. Baby, if my man, my ex-man made $270,000, you better believe we would have an agreement that he will pay for college. All of, and you know what? Because he's a nut. He's a cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm going to make sure that that money is today. So today. part of the order would be, okay, maybe you're going to give me 10 and then every month you're going to put another 10 every month into a college fund until it is funded at what we, with interest bearing, at what we think college, a full time of college or whatever is going to be because you cannot trust this man to get more movies and this, that, and the third because he's Google for Cocoa Puffs. I agree with you, Simone. Absolutely. It doesn't matter what's fair or unfair, who's right or wrong, or what's best for the child. Their entire argument is based on one thing, making sure they get what they want. This is why single mothers, especially when raising boys, are failing. Female nature is selfish and self-centered, and trying to reason with them is a waste of time. Until laws change, culture changes, or society starts holding them accountable, they will continue doing this. Men, you have to protect yourself at all times. Don't. This is where that video where it comes with the, the one, uh, Anna, I think what was the name? was talking about how we you know, push men to not be in relationships and you know we tell them it's horrible and stuff like that but it is look at all of this information men should have this information to at least make their own decision if they want to deal with the dating market or not the marriage market or not because there's women out there and, it, and the thing is women seem to like oh but there's good women we know but it only takes one bad one to ruin a life. And there's a lot of them out there. Don't play with this fire because trust me, you will get burned. This is not your friend and it's not going to be your friend for many, many years. And so I always say, instead of approaching this as though you're divorcing a friend, you need to purport, do it as though this is a, a business dispute where a business is being split and each of you are going your ways, you need to ask for everything that you feel entitled to. Man, baby, we work. Protect yourself at all times. See the rhetoric that goes on when it comes to us in the court system with women. And women really think that we're crazy, that the risk is worth it. No, look at how everything is set up. Look how all women view things. Like, not even some, a good chunk of them, like 90% of them view it as we're evil because we make more money. We should be paying for everything. Please, thanks for that one below. I really appreciate that. Because that's